Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Mummy Bear to go along with our Daddy Bear that we did um, earlier. So, the colours that we're going to need are, I'm going to be using a brown, I'm going to be using pink for her little apron, I'm going to use black for her nose and I'm going to use two of the mini e uh, mini. Pony beads, I'm sorry, had a mental breakdown there. Uh, mini pony beads for her eyes. Okay, and we're going to use a single loom. It's going to be in the offset configuration to start with, which means columns one and two, one and three, are lower than column two. The arrow is pointing towards you. If you don't have an arrow, it's the open part of the peg, so it's the opposite of how people who make bracelets like to do it. So we're going to get started, we're going to be double banding and that means you take two bands and you place them across the pegs as if they were one, like this, okay? And that makes the, uh, the little figure stronger, not so uh, flopsy bunny. Push these all down. Now let's take a single band, stretch it and place it across these three pegs as a crossover band. And then we're going to take another single band and twist it three times. Once, twice and three times and that's going to go where the eyes are going. And the reason we're doing that is so they don't sink to the back of the head. Now grab your little pony beads, your mini pony beads. Mine fit down my 2.75 crochet dude hook quite nicely but use whatever you're used to. Uh, it could be floss, it could be a metal threader, whatever you decide to use. Could be You could be using bands, not uh, beads at all and that's fine as well. Thread them onto your skin tone band, or I should say fur tone band in this case and take the top part of that band and loop it above this peg here so it acts as a crossover band okay we're going to do some ears you're going to take three bands place your hook through and wrap once and then we're going to take two bands and slide on Take your hook out and we're going to splay this out. No, we've got to catch the same bands for each and you'll know that you've got them because when you do and you splay them out like this, you see a hole between them. Okay, so let's place that onto our loom, one at the top and the other will go just here. Twist that around, we're going to do the same for the other side, so three bands, slide through your hook and wrap once, grab two bands and slide those on. Let's splay this out like I said, if you get the right ones, you can tell. Yeah, oh, I can tell by that. Look at that. You pull one end, the other one moves. So put one side on a hook and hold the other side with our fingers. Place one side on and the other side on. So there are the ears. Now, we're also going to do, if you can see, um, a little 3D face, a little 3D snout. So let's make that. Move down to the bottom of your loom, take a single brown band, figure eight, loop it on itself and we'll place it here 
we want to have room to do three. And these are single bands, okay, the brown ones. Again, take another one. As I said, you need room for three. Now we're going to take our two black bands, stretch them, figure eight, loop on themselves, and we'll place those here. This is going to be the nose. And then the last brown band. Oops, didn't do that very well, did I? There we go. Place that on. Now we need end caps. So again, single bands. Place your hook, wrap once and twice, and pop on the end of each of these. And then we will need crossover bands. So take a single figure eight, loop it on itself, and you'll see that the band will snap. <laughs> Great. Loop it on itself and stretch across. The same here. If you feel that it can't stretch across to the third one, place it on the second and then use your hook to just gently squeeze it across there. It does work. Let's loop this up. Dig down, find the bottom two bands and loop up. Push the crossover bands back with the back of your hook. So you're exposing just those two bottom bands. And it will be tight because you've you've looped them, you know, on themselves. It's half the stretch of a normal band. Okay, we're gonna take this off the loom gently with a hook. And this is going to be our snout. Now I'm just trying to make it so that it's not um, overlapping. There we go. Now I like it so that the V is going upwards. So it's going to go like that. So take a single band and we're going to slide these loops onto the single band. like that okay loop the other end on now if you don't have a holding hook to use put it on the end of a, a pencil or something just something to hold it now let's collect up these cross uh, end caps three little loops on the end of each of those and slide another on a single brown band like that. Okay, as I said, I want the V to go at the top. So I'm going to hold one side of my band and place the bottom one here and the other side here. And then for the top, I'm going to do the same. One side here and one side here. And I know that that covers this middle peg that's okay all right now we also need to do chubby cheeks so take a single band wrap it around your hook once and twice and slide two bands onto the end of your hook and push that over reclaim the end of your band let's do another pair slide on and reclaim and one more pair slide on and reclaim. The loops on your hook are going to go on the peg that the eye is on 
and then you're going to push your hook through the end cap and stretch it out and place it on the jawline of the bear okay let's do the same for the other side now if you don't like doing it on your hook you can do it on your loom so you would take two bands two bands two bands an end cap wrap it once and twice slide that on to the peg dig down and loop up and loop up and loop up so you have the choice you can do it on your hook or you get the very same effect by doing it on your loom again the loops that are on your hook go opposite the eyes and then dig your hook through the end cap and place that on the jawline like so all right now I like to use three bands for the neck purely because if you've got a neck that's all sort of floppity and, and not very strong the head's going to loll all over the place and that's not going to be good now we're going back to two bands and I know she's going to look a bit odd don't worry if you've done daddy bear you know what to expect that is her body let's do her arms and legs take three bands wrap once wrap twice we're trying to do paws so we're trying to make them thick that's why we're using three slide these onto three bands and reclaim you're going to slide them onto another set of three bands okay and then one more set of three bands and let's attach that to her arm just there do the same for her arms and her other arm and legs three bands wrap once and twice slide onto three bands pretty it up a bit reclaim your bands slide onto three bands and reclaim three bands and reclaim so it's the same as that you've got the end cap one two three let's pop that on this arm do the same for the legs I'm going to take two of the legs wrap once and twice these are just the end cap but I am still going to use three and slide on three slide on and reclaim and my last three and slide on and pop that on his leg again two wrap once and twice and we'll slide on to our first set of three our second set of three and our third set of three and we'll pop that here now those legs are actually oops I can see there's a band I missed there let's try that again there we go these legs are going to act as our end caps okay so all we need to do is dig down and find those two bottom bands and loop up and the same this side loop up loop up and loop up pull back the arm 
and loop up and pull back the arm and loop up. Now dig down here, we've got three bands for the neck, loop up, grab the two top bands at the chin and loop them across to the side and across to the other side. Now I'm going to do a bit of fancy footwork. Take this chubby cheek off and hold it out to the side. Dig down and find the two bottom bands. Loop up. Let's replace the chubby cheeks. Make sure you've got four loops on there. Replace the chubby cheeks and let's lock it into place by digging down, finding the bottom two and looping that up. That chubby cheek is locked in. Let's do the other side. Take the chubby cheek off without dropping a loop. <laughs> Hold it out to the side, dig down, find the two bottom bands, loop across or up. Replace the chubby cheek and let's dig down and find the bottom two brown bands and loop up. That chubby cheek is now secure. Let's now worry about this snout. We need to do a flip top snout to expose this band and loop up. Then replace the snout and pull it down this way so you can expose the two bands there and loop up. And I've got one stuck, there we go. And now replace the snout. Loop this one up and we'll loop the ear ones up. Now, the ears themselves need to stay there. You're digging down to find the bottom two brown bands. Okay, bottom two. Now, we're going to grab two brown bands and tie this off. Dig down past all the bands and out through the side. Put your two tie-off bands on your hook and you're going to drag that back through the center of the peg and then out to the back side of it and reclaim. Take the two closest up over and pull tight in a slip knot. And I just like to pull these ears out just a tiny bit before we take off the loom, just so that I know I'm not going to be pulling them too far out of shape. I'm going to use the back of a metal hook to help me ease her off the loom. I do not like broken bands, especially when everything is all loomed in or looped in. Okay, you will have a, an interesting time getting this one off. So dig down, push the snout out the way so you can get to the peg and release it. Okay, and all you do with the snout when you're done is kind of stretch it into shape, so don't worry about that. We've got the arms to come off, legs to come off, and we just pull her gently off our loom. If she looks a bit crazy, don't worry. Let's pull her eyes to the front, stretch her little head out a bit, make sure her ears are there. Yeah, there they are and we're going to hide these tie-off bands at the back here under some of the existing bands that we have. It's already in a slip knot so I'm quite comfortable that it's quite secure. If you are not, use, use a clip. That's absolutely fine. Don't worry about that at all. That's completely up to you. So I'm just going to hide these under some of these bands like that. I'm going to push her snout into shape. I will get her eyes and pull them to the front and chub her cheeks out a bit. And that's how I want her face to look. Now let's make the ball for her body. And we're still going to use a single loom, but we're going to change the offset into a standard 
configuration like this. All columns are the same height. You're going to need your base removal tool. We're going to be shifting the bases forward because we only have three columns here and we need ten. Okay, so we're still going to be having the arrow face towards us or the open part face towards us. We're still going to be double banding. Take two bands and we will lay our first three columns out and there is no change, it's just going to be brown bands. I suppose you could swap it out a bit. Um, one lady did a fantastic one which had a pink tummy and it looked awesome. That was for Daddy Bear, but he looked, was it a blue tummy, something like that anyway, and he looked really, really good. I think it was a tan tummy. I don't know, it was a different colour tummy. It was awesome. <laughs> That's all you need to know, isn't it, really? One, two, three, four, and we're doing down to five. We're going to put a, cross, a crossover band between each of these, a single band that you're going to stretch. And we're going to put end caps on the end of each of them. So take a single band, wrap it once and twice and pop on here again. One more time. And let's loop up, dig down, grab the two bottom bands and loop up. Push the crossover band back so that you're exposing those two bottom bands. And we loop up the second column as well. Now you need a holding hook. We're going to take this first one off the loom. Use your base removal tool and budge these bases across. Like that. And then take this column off and move it forward like that. Let's lay the bands for column number four. Don't forget we need a end cap. Stretch across. And we loop up our middle column. And take this first one off the loom. Turn our loom over. And budge forward. Grab this column of pegs and move it forward. And now we can do column five. End cap, and drag across. This is the last time that we're going to use this particular crossover band because we're doing ten columns. We will do two sets, one going across five each. Loom. 
stretch everything across. Let's move our column. to our next set which is six put our end cap on and as I mentioned we're going to use a new set of crossover bands so single band and it just goes between the middle column and the right hand column like that and then we loop up seven end cap and pull over and loop up the middle one. I always say it, but please remember that you have control of how fast I go. You can pause the video and restart me, rewind me anytime you like. I promise I won't take offense. I'll pretend I never even noticed. All right, turn this over. Now, if you've forgotten what number you're on, count the bottom with the little end caps. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you know that you're on number eight. end cap oops there we go and pull across dig down and take this one off the loom so that we can do number nine Drag the crossover bands over. And we'll 
we'll do the last one that we have to move. Forget your end cap, drag these over, and we can loop up both of these columns because they're our last two. We're going to use two brown bands, place on the end of our hook and slide these loops on. Reclaim the end of your bands. Okay, now I've got one that's a bit wonky donkey here. I'm not going to worry about it, I think it's being stretched. say I'm not worrying about it and of course I'm fiddling with it that that uh, yeah <laughs> all right let's grab our teddy bear's head mummy bear's head and before we tie this off let's place her with her head around like that so that it's almost like a little cape but at the front okay and we're going to take the ones closest to us up, over, and off, and pull that tight. We're going to be using this to uh, stitch up, all right, to, to do the stitching at the back to make the ball. So I'm going to attach another band onto the end of it just to ensure that I do not lose that. Okay, so that's going to be like that. Now, what we can do is poke her arms out. So I'm going to pick where I want her arms, and I, I want them sort of just one down from here, quite high up. I'm going to poke my hook through where I want her arm to come out and grab the end cap of her arm. And I'm going to splay this little bit out where I want her arm to come out of. All right. And I'm just going to pull that through, like so. Now, if I feel that it's in the wrong spot, maybe I wanted it up here, just redo it. It really doesn't matter. So if you want it a little bit higher, redo that. Poke your hook through. Grab the end cap. And pull through. Let go of the end cap. And just push the arm through. Let's do the same, but we'll try and do it in the same spot. So we've got the middle one here and one there. So the middle one here, one there. I'm going to try and go through here. You kind of want them even. Find the arm, make sure it's the arm and not the leg. Push your hook through. And let's pull that through a spot at the front 
like that. Okay. Now we can do the same for the legs and I want the legs to be closer together. So I'm going to push my hook through here and grab the end cap of one leg and in fact I think that's too close to the edge. Let's do here. Splay it out and pull through. And if you need to stretch this out, do so because you know you're going to catch some of these other bands. So stretch it out like this one. I just pulled that one by mistake, but it doesn't matter because all I need to do is push my hook through the back, grab it, and just put it through to the back again, and it's fine. Let's do the same on the other side. Find a comparable spot and pull through like that. Okay, now we're going to grab all the little end caps here at the back. There's three little loops on the end of each column. Grab them. And if you have a sort of soft touch hook like I do, which has got the handle, it does get a bit crowded, but uh, don't worry too much about it. Scritch them on two bands, and let's slide these ones on, these loops over onto those two bands. Like that and reclaim the end of your bands. The ones closest to you, go up, over and off and pull tight. And you can pull her legs out so that they're a little bit more even. Now this spot is where we're going to do her tail. So take your hook out, I'm going to use three bands, wrap them around my hook like that and I'm going to slide this on like so, and then I'm going to let go. I'm going to push my hook through the center here, grab those bands back, pull through the center, back out here, and I'm going to splay that out and pop the tail through the middle, like that. Okay, that's going to be her little tail. And now all we have to do is stitch up. And to do that, you're going to dig your hook from the inside to the outside. Grab that tie-off band that we had there. And I'm pulling it so that the, uh, the knot is hidden inside the ball. From the inside to the outside and pull through. And it's just like you're sewing something up, but you're doing it with a rubber band. Bottom here. It's hard working with one hand when the other is holding something else. There we go. Oh, you're not going anywhere, band. Stay here. Thank you. Now, to tie it off, all you really need to do is splay it out and put it over the tail, like that. And there we have Mummy Bear. And obviously, you need to make her a little bit more even, pull her arms and legs out so that they're, they're the right height.
height. Now, the other thing I did for her to distinguish her, she's fine as she is, but if you want to put a little apron on her, make sure your loom is in the standard configuration. And I'm going to put my base plate back on. And I'm going to use pink for her little apron. Double band, arrows facing towards you. So take two bands, place them across the peg like this, and like this. We're going to put a cross uh, an end cap right here in the middle and a crossover band on that middle peg. Take a single band, stretch it, figure eight, and replace it across there. Now dig down and find the top two pink bands or whatever colour you have chosen, and then the next two. And just loop up, making sure you go behind the crossover bands. You want to make sure that they are pushed back with the back of your hook so that you're just exposing those two bottom bands. Here we're going to go from the middle to one side and to the other side. So you have two places that you need to tie off at. Take a single band, poke your hook through, put the band on the end of your hook and drag it through and we're going to do a slip knot like that and a slip knot on this one as well. Now let's take this off the loom. I like to use the back of a metal hook just to help me. I don't like broken bands, so I just ease that off to start with. Stretch it into shape so that the bands are all even, like that. And this is going to be our little apron. Wrap it round her waist. Hold it with a hook one side, I like to anyway, because we're going to tie a, you got it, knot. <laughs> okay, so we do one, and grab the other side. So you have a little bow at the back. And then at the front, there is your little apron for Mummy Bear, so that she can match with Daddy Bear. Hope you enjoy making her. Take care.